without being broken you cannot live a life of obedience because he's a humble person that can obey that can that can submit to instruction he's a humble person and for you to be humble there has to be brokenness of spirit the bible said that god does not despise a broken and a contrite heart that's what he said in psalm 51 he said I do not despise a broken and a contrite heart. So at the point that you say, Father Lord, accept me as your child. I accept you as my Lord and as my personal Savior. You make up your mind and you say, Father Lord, give me the grace to follow you. Your grace is sufficient. You're not you're not depending on yourself. You're depending on the grace of God to walk you through. You fail, you stand up. You're restored. You keep going. You keep pressing onto the mark. But when you've not made that choice, that decision is not yet made, obedience becomes an uphill task. That a decision must be taken where you say, you know what? I'm tired of all this. I want to get it right. So you become intentional about obedience. Yeah. When you become intentional about obedience, it becomes your way of life. By the time you know it, it will become a nature. So it's no, it, won't, it won't be something that you slide in and out because your spirit will reject it. Whenever you're not in sync as a child of God, that restlessness will come into your spirit. 